Governor Cuomo is taking the first steps to restore New York's arts and culture scene with a series of COVID safe pop up performances. There'll be free mini shows popping up on street corners, subway platforms, all kinds of places. It is a step that could eventually mean curtains up for Broadway. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story tonight. Hugh Jackman, Chris Rock, Matthew Broderick, Sarah Jessica Parker, Renee Fleming, Billy Porter, and Alec Baldwin haven't seen their names and lights on New York Marquise for nearly a year. But now they're back, ending the COVID hiatus of the arts with a series of pop up concerts that could very well turn the lights back on on Broadway. And this is really cool and creative. 300 events in 100 days of pop up. Performances. The pop up start February 20th, part of a three stage process to slowly restore the city's cultural life. After the pop ups, a move to reopen smaller venues like the Apollo, the Shed, and La Mama. And if that goes well, it's on to the Great White Way. Marsha, I think that is where we are headed. The governor says opening theaters will be done the same way he allowed spectators at the Buffalo Bills playoff games, testing before attending. You can open a Broadway stage with a set percentage of occupants where people have tested prior to walking in. The governor offered no timeline and couldn't say whether union performers would participate in the pop-ups. There was also no specifics on how many people could be in a theater at one time. That had Jennifer Wharton, a trombonist in the West Side Story Orchestra, playing a sour note. I can only imagine it's cheaper to not have a show than it is to have one that's half full. Kenny Seymour, the musical director of Ain't Too Proud, was playing a happier tune. I think it's a step in the right direction. I think it's 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 definitely um, something to look forward to as far as you know bringing live entertainment, which is the heartbeat of New York City, back to New York City. Meanwhile, Governor Cuomo offered hearts and flowers to New York City's restaurants, saying they can start limited indoor dining Friday instead of Sunday, so New York City's friends and lovers can have a whole weekend to celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.